Hey guys, Rob back again with the fourth of my sound tutorials for setting up gaming and incorporating music on your stream and fantasy ground sound effects and now background themes for uh, creepy backgrounds uh, that you can play both on your stream and to the players in Discord. So once again, this does uh, assume that you've watched the other three tutorials. And uh, here we go with the fourth one which involves uh, setting up, uh, I use media player. So let's open media player, Windows media player. And there is a, a bit of setup required for this. So once you open Windows media player, you want to go to organize, you want to go to options, you wanna click over to devices, you wanna go to speakers, Click on properties and you want to change your audio device to voice meter aux input and voice meter aux once you do that you can apply it you can save it okay get all the way out of this that is then on your voice meter going to match voice meter aux right here and as we did in a previous uh, tutorial um, we set all this up already, so you already have microphone, Discord, Serenscape, Music, PC. And if you haven't, uh, whatever this says, you can change that to WMP, Windows Media Player, or whatever you want to call it. That's easiest for me. And so now, anything that we play in Windows Media Player will come through on this channel. And um, if you would like, you can head over to tabletopaudio.com. And this is where you can get the sounds for this. So if you go to tabletopaudio.com, there's many, many, dozens and dozens and dozens of different background things here. Uh, you know, sleeping dragons, zombies, uh, and I've downloaded about 15 of these. And um, all you have to do is go to whichever one you want, click on the save, download the files. They're all free. You don't have to pay anything. And make sure you dump all those into a file that you know where they are so that you can hook them up and... Connect it to Windows Media Player. I'm using Windows Media Player. If you're using something else, just make sure that when you go to set the, uh, you know, to go to the thing that set your playback device, uh, just make sure that you're changing your speakers to, um, you know, voice meter aux input, however you do that on whatever media player you're using. But we're using Windows Media Player just because it's easy and it's there. So here you can see I've downloaded all the tabletop audio. Uh, I've got about 15 or 20 of them. I don't know how many are there. And uh, they're all ready to go in there. Now, in order, to, in order to accomplish this so that you can play these sounds for the stream and also the people in your Discord channel, you now need a third instance of Discord. So we were using Sirenscape. We have my regular Discord, which is Rob Tui. We have my second Discord PTB, which is the Rob Tui Sounds. That I've called Rob Tui Sirenscape, already covered in a previous tutorial. If you haven't watched it, you're too far ahead of yourself and you need to go back and watch these in order. So now what we need to do is get our third instance of Discord. Yet again, another Discord account with the same with a different email and a whole different thing. So you're now gonna have three Discord accounts: your regular one, your sound one, and now your background sounds. So I'm gonna go to discordapp.com. It's already, it was already populated for me. I could have just hit enter. As a matter of fact, I should have because now I've screwed it all up. Here's discordapp.com. Once you go there, you're going to open Discord in the browser. And this will allow you now to sign into your third Discord account, which I've called rob 2 Music. Uh, let me go over to the rob 2 server, log into the private chat with us down here. So now we're all in there. And I've re I've re-nicknamed that WMP, which is what uh, we're calling this WMP Windows Media Player. So now if I go to my regular Discord, I see Rob Tui's there, I see the Sirenscape sounds are there, and I see the WMP sounds are there. Now it is important that much as we did the other two, we also know we also need to make sure we're on the browser instance. Uh, go to the settings for your third Discord setup go to user settings go to voice and we have to change these to the following the input device has to be voice meter aux output the output device has to be cable a input uh, volume all the way down voice activity and input all the way down so once you've set those up 
This should all now fall into place and work perfectly. So let's go to the Windows Media Player and let's kick off a background sound. I don't know, Medieval Town. Is that good? Is that, that going to be fun? Let's find out. So when I go over to Voice Meter, let me turn it on so I can hear it. Yeah, so I hear it. Let me turn it on so you can hear it. So A1 is me. B1 is the stream, as previously covered in a tutorial. Now, the only time you will ever use B2 is right now, because that will pipe these sounds into Discord, and you can see that they're coming into Discord here. Now, I'm going to turn A1 off, because I will be hearing it twice, once through the regular cable and once through Discord. So no need for me to hear that. Now, I'm going to put these down. I'm going to put this volume down. So, I don't know. Maybe get it down a little bit. That, that's faint, but that's okay. So now if I go over to Discord, theoretically, if I switch over to Discord, I should see the WMP channel with a green circle around it because it's an open channel broadcasting that sound. So let's go see. Oh, look, there it is. It is going to have that. Now, if I were to go to Windows Media Player and either pause or stop that, that, that circle would go dark because there's no sound coming through there. So basically, um, with the other tutorials, we now have a situation where we can play music before the stream and let our Twitch viewers enjoy some music before we get going. We can now play Fantasy Grounds so sounds uh, through Sirenscape into both Discord and out to the stream. And we can now also include a background music with our free downloads from uh, Tabletop Audio that we've downloaded and opened up through Windows Media Player, and we can play all these. They're all in 10-minute groups, so you can just cycle it, you can stop it, you can re, uh, you can uh, replay them again. If you were crazy enough that I haven't got to yet, you could crack these open and just triple them all, make them 30 minutes long, or do whatever, add whatever you want to audio. I'm not going to get into all that. But you could, because you would then just play this in the background, and uh, by the voice meter, you can pipe it into the stream, which is B1. B1 is always the stream. B2 is Discord, which the only thing you would ever pipe in Discord would be the background sounds, because Sirenscape and your voice and Discord itself is all automatically set up because of your push to talk. And if I push to talk, you'll see my push to talk go there like that. Uh, and that's it. So that 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 is a very quick. I thought this was going to be longer, but that is quick and dirty. The most important things uh, for the background sounds is that you change your media media player settings so that it's going through the aux, and that you, on your third instance of Discord, change those settings to match what what they should be in the voices we already did. As long as you've got that all set up, you're ready to go, and you can play uh, the sounds the way you want to have them. And if, for example, you don't want the Discord people to hear them, but you want the stream to hear them, you can just do that. And, uh, you know, it's fantastic. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks for listening to the tutorial. I hope all four of them make sense for those people. This was really done for specifically Fantasy Grounds users that want to use Sirenscape and broadcast on Twitch and do their music. So anybody who's watching these tutorials that don't fit into that category, I hope you learned some stuff. But these tutorials are really meant for those people specifically. So thanks for watching, guys, and happy gaming.